so this is going to be class number two of Intro to CAD, and today uh, will be me, Derek, Josh, and Jermaine teaching. So hello to new people and welcome back to the SNL. Great. Ah, uh, yes, my turn. Sorry about that. Okay, so to wait. Okay. No. okay, so today we will be making a part. So what is a part? A part is just a small piece of a shot, a piece of material that's produced in like the manufacturing manufacturing process of different types of injection molding, machining, or stamping. And it generally cannot be disassembled without being breaking the pieces. To create a model of a part, we use many different geometric blocks like spheres and other things you can make this part. So the main two toolbars of a part studio are the feature toolbar and the sketch toolbar. The last thing we're going to do here is work on the sketch toolbar and sketch out the design of like a smiley face. So when we want to modify 3D geometry, we use the feature toolbar to create different parts and things like that. But when we want to edit a sketch in a 3D space, we use the sketch toolbar. So last week we worked on the sketch toolbar, so you know that there's things like lines, circles, rectangles, and other sketching tools that help you design the tool. So the part studio interface. So the part studio interface is what you see when you first open your part studio document. There are three planes generally, so it's the top, the front, and the right. Of course, if you click around, you see the left, the bottom, and the back. Um, and there's one point when you start creating your uh, object document. The point is called the origin. It's zero, 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 and it is the only point that is always black, which means it cannot be moved around. So, features are things that um, use sketches to create different parts. So features rely on previous features of the list. So let's say you created a sketch of a square, right? And you made that into a cube. The next feature tool will make that cube into something else, maybe like dice or like a different shape. So today we're gonna learn some more sketching tools as well as some other part tools. So first there's a parallel constraint. So when you draw two lines, and you need to make them parallel to each other. Let's say you're making a rectangular prism. You need to make them parallel to each other. So for that, we have a parallel constraint. Most of these constraints, if you can't find them, uh, if you click the like the down arrow on your sketch toolbar, you'll be able to find most of these constraint tools. The second constraint is the concentric constraint. And this basically means that the circles, if you click two circles and you use the percentage constraint, it'll make the two circles have the same center. Oh yeah, and also if you guys weren't here last week, we'll also do like a review of some of the tools. And also for new people, we probably won't use every single tool that we mentioned, but we'll at least use most of them. Okay, so next, these are pretty important tools. So one tool is the tangent tool. That makes one line tangent to either a curve or another one. Or so let's say you have a line and you have a circle and you want these two uh, sketch, sketch objects to be right next to each other, but you only want the lines to touch the circle once. Then you would use the tangent tool. So this tangent tool is pretty useful when you are trying to make sure like a certain circle fits in an object. So let's say you want to maximize the circle size, you would click the tangent tool and click the edge of the circle and align, and that will make it as big as possible. Also, I'll show you guys how to use some of these tools in a bit. Wait for that. Oh. So the next tool is the horizontal tool. So now the horizontal tool is pretty simple. It just makes sure that whatever point you're clicking on is horizontal to the other point you're clicking on. So exactly 90 degrees, like in a line. Okay, and the vertical tool. The vertical tool is, is the same thing as the horizontal tool, except it's vertical. So whatever thing, two things you click, they will always be right above each other. You cannot move them side to side. And the perpendicular tool is if you click a geometry class. It makes two lines completely 90 degrees from each other. So it's like a, it'll give you a sharp point. Okay, and now we're talking about basic part tools. So the first tool is extrude. So let's say I have a square, right? And I want to extrude it. I'll just make the square into a cube or a rectangular prism. Transform is used to move the part tool. So let's say I have a cube and I want to move it somewhere else. I use the transform tool. And the revolve tool, it's a little bit more complicated. But it basically revolves a sketch around the wall. So let's say I have a cube or a square sketch, 
and are along the square stack or on the plate? We'll give you a symbol. Yeah. It's kind of hard to understand, but we will teach you this question. Okay, so this is an example of the extrude tool. So you can see here we have a square, and we're going to extrude it by however much we want. And as you can see, this, the guideline shows that it's now a rectangular prism. So we went from a square to a rectangular prism. And that's what we do. Next is the revolve tool. So the revolve tool is a little bit more complicated. It revolves a sketch around a certain point or a line. And this can help you make things like wheels, um, cones, and different things like that. All right, okay. All right, so now we're gonna go over like some of the really basic ones. We'll also go over the ones from last week in case you weren't here. So flay tool, you guys can see you have a 3D shape and you wanna make one edge rounded. Very simple, we'll show you how to do it in a little bit. Chamfer is the same thing, except it's not rounded, it's more square-like. We'll also show you, this is just like an overview, but we'll show you how to use it in a little bit. Uh, shell tool, it basically allows you to make a hole inside of like whatever 3D shape that you're using. These, these part uh, tools only work on 3D shapes, by the way. Oh yeah, okay, so we're not gonna get to that yet. So first uh, we're going to do, let's see. All right, so does everyone know how to get into a part studio? Okay, we'll help the people, everyone else go into the same uh, document you made last week and then create a new part studio. All right, I'm gonna show you guys how to make a new part studio since I see a lot of you have, all right, let's say some of you probably have documents that look like this. So if you see where my mouse is, go to the bottom corner in the plus symbol and then click create part studio. This will create you an, a new blank part studio basically. And once you have that, it should be clean. There shouldn't be any lines over it. Does everyone have a blank part studio? Raise your hand if you don't and we'll come around and help you. How many of the tools should I go over? All right. Yeah, okay. So now everyone go onto the, okay. So most of you already know how to do this, but go to the top right. Uh, you see the little cube in the top right and then click front and it should give you this flat screen. All right, so now everyone has this. So click on the front side and then click sketch in the top left, just like we did last week. And now that everyone, uh, you should see this little box that says sketch one at the top left. If you don't have that, raise your hand and one of us will come and help you. All right, so now um, we're go we'll go over a few of the easy tools that we used last week. If you already know them, you can just like use it as a refresher. So first off, we have the line tool in the top left corner. This is like your most important tool that you make everything with. So if you click on it and then you see how your cursor is a plus symbol, you can click once, click anywhere else and click again. And then you have a blue line. So if everyone can make a line, All right, so if you want to stop drawing lines, click the escape symbol on your keyboard, or else it's going to keep drawing them over and over again. And then to delete it, you just select it and then click delete. This is this should just be a review for most of you. All right, the next tool we're going to be going over is the corner rectangle. So all you do is click on this tool, you click the top left and bottom right, and it basically just creates a rectangle. And then like we said last week, notice how the center is grayed out. That means that it's filled and there's no holes in the box. Up to some dimension. I did. All right, if you wanna delete something, you select cover over it. You see how the line is highlighted yellow and you click delete on your keyboard or backspace or whatever it is on your keyboard. Yeah. Does everyone have a gray box? Can you help them? So next, we're going to go over the dimension tool again. So if you click the letter D on your keyboard, click on the top of your line. It should highlight yellow. Click it and drag out. And let's make this 50 mm. Make sure it says mm or else it's going to make it 50 inches, and that's not going to be good. Mm is millimeters, by the way. Yeah, all right. And then now we're going to do the same thing on the left side. Make it like 50 millimeters as well. And now we should have a square that's 50 millimeters wide. Does anyone not have a square that's 50 millimeters wide? All right, so now we're going to teach you one of the, this, is, this will be new, okay? Now we're gonna teach you how to extrude. So everyone click the check mark in the top left so that it closes your sketch one. Click the check, do not click the X mark or else you're gonna delete your drawing. 
All right, now everyone see your gray box, click on it once so it's highlighted in yellow. And then this is the extrude tool. Now you notice that your toolbar should look different. It's not what it's like when it was in the sketch. So it's like this tool with a box with a gray box in front. So click that, get this menu. And now if you take two fingers or use your arrow keys, you can move around and you can see how far it's extruded. And then you can either change the depth here or you can, oh shoot. You either change the depth inside of here. So let's make it like 30 mm. So everyone changed it to 30 mm and then click the check mark and you should have now a 3D cube. Oh yeah, once you're done with the extra, click the check mark in the top left or it's just not gonna save. All right, everyone, now you're going, so I think that basically everyone has a 3D cube already. So now you see, so now click on any of the sides that look like this and highlight it in yellow. And now you see this tool in the top left, it's called fillet. It looks like, like a rounded corner. So if you click that tool and you see how now the edge is curved. So let's make the width, when you can change the width in the top left, let's make it 15 mm. And if you do that, and then you make sure every time you're done, click the check mark. And now you should have a cube with a rounded corner. All right, so now we're going to move around the cube. You can use your arrow keys, that probably works best. Select the side on the opposite corner or any side on your cube. And this time we're gonna use the chamfer tool, which is right next to the fillet. And if you do that, and then make that 20 mm as well. And now if you did that correctly, you can see how you have like a cube with a rounded side and like a square shaped other side. Make this chamfer 20 millimeters, by the way. And now everyone should have a shape that's similar to this. Okay. We're good. Okay, this is like the basic sketching demonstration. And now we'll do like a follow along sketch. So back to here. So we're going to do one, we're probably going to do both of these, but we're going to have you guys vote on which one of these you want to make first. So raise your hand if you'd rather make the dice first. Okay, smiley face. All right, looks like we're doing a smiley face. Okay, sweet. Uh, okay, guys, so we're going to make a smiley face. Jermaine, you have to use my computer. Yeah, but I, I Okay, so all right, make a new part studio like you did earlier. Yeah, so everybody make a new part studio. Okay, so the first step is we're going to make the ring part of it. Okay, so first we want to make the ring. So in order to do that, we need to draw a circle. So does everyone remember this? Okay, wait, actually we need to make a sketch first. Sorry. So we're gonna click the front face like this, everybody click the front face or find the front face using your arrow keys and then click the front face at the top of the cube. Okay, so once everybody has done this, we're gonna click on the front face. So it's completely orange. And then we're gonna make a sketch. So at the top left, we can make a sketch. So it should be after you click the or make it orange and you click sketch, it should say front plane at the top left under sketch. So now we're gonna start sketching. So the first step to making a ring. Uh, I'm pretty sure everyone did. Okay, so the first step to making a sketch is to draw a circle. So if anybody remember the circle tool, it's right next to the square tool at the top. So right here, we're gonna click that, this tool right here, and we're just gonna move our mouse to the center. You see how the, the dot in the middle lights up orange when we hover over it? When it lights up orange, we're going to click on it. And then we're just going to make our circle like around this bit. Okay. So, and then after we make it, we need to click again so we can actually make the circle. Yeah, so click and then click again. All right. Nice. So, the next step is we're going to set the dimension of the circle. So, I'm not sure how big your finger is, but for now, since we're just doing a design, we can just set the size to be 18 mm. So first we're gonna click the dimension tool, which is up here. It looks like this. We just used it recently. So we're just gonna click on it and press the circle. After we press the circle, we're gonna move our mouse somewhere here. And then we're gonna say 18 mm. You can press D or you can click on the tool. So you can see that the circle is pretty small. So it's kind of hard to work on a small area. So we're going to make it bigger.
by scrolling up or scrolling down or sc scrolling in scrolling in yeah some of your computers might work differently but so after you do this we're going to make another circle right because a ring has to have a little bit of thickness so we're going to click the circle tool again and we're going to click on the center so we're going to move our mouse to the center see where the dot turns orange the black dot in the center when it turns orange we're going to click again and then we're going to drag the circle we're going to make it smaller so we can just put it inside this bigger circle Okay, so we're going to click and make a smaller circle. And now we're going to dimension it again. So this time it needs to be a little bit smaller. So I think the thickness of the ring should be about 2 mm. So 2 mm sounds good. So 18 minus 2 is 16, right? So we're going to use our dimension tool, which looks like this again, or you can press D, click on this blue circle, and we're going to make it 16 mm. So you can see you have two circles now, and it's basically a ring. Yeah, okay, so we have our two circles, and now we're going to, we finished making the ring basically. Now we're gonna make the smiley face thing on top of the ring. So first we need to exit out of our sketch. So in order to save our progress, we need to press the check mark. So we're gonna press this green check mark, and then you'll see an outline of the sketch. All right, so let's first make our ring, right? So we're gonna use our extra tool that we just learned about, which is right here. Oh, right here, the gray box in front of the white box. And we're going to click on the inside of these two circles. So right here, you see how both circles are orange? When both circles are orange, we're gonna click. If it's too hard to see, we need to scroll in. Okay, so now we need to choose the depth. So you can see in the extrude panel right here, there's a depth, right? And so this depth, we're gonna make it uh, three mm. So we're gonna press check mark after we make the depth, the green check mark. And now you can look around your ring and see that you have a pretty nice ring. It doesn't have any decorations yet, but we'll get to that later. Once you're done looking at your ring, you can click the front on the cube at the top right, click the front face. Wait, how long is it? Three mm. So we click the front face, three mm, and now we have our ring. So now we're gonna add the smiley face with the cylinder. In order to do that, we need to create, a, we need to use a new tool called the plane. And what a plane does, you see all these, this big square that's the front, that's a plane, right? So we're gonna make another plane so we can draw our smiley face on it. So we're gonna click the plane tool, which is right here. It looks like a rectangle inside of a rectangle, kind of. So that would be okay. You guys pick up that. The plane tools right here. So, so everybody click the plane tool. Oh, I don't want to have it. This is like the plane tool. Okay, so once you clicked on the plane tool, we're going to make a new plane, except it's not going to be on the front surface. Instead, we're going to click our down arrow a few times. And we're going to click on the top surface. So we're going to click this and we're going to click our plane tool. And now we can. Okay. All right. So, yeah, we're going to click on top. We're going to click the plane surface. And now we need to offset it, right? Because we don't want to use the top plane. We want to lift the top plane a little bit up. Okay. So, is everybody good? So, one more time, we're gonna press our down arrow a few times till we look at the top of the ring. So click the down arrow. Yep, so we can see the top of the ring. And now we're gonna click our plane tool. So our plane tool again, 
is the rectangle with a rectangle. Okay, so everybody has this done. We're going to set the offset. You see in the top pit in the plane panel here, the offset distance is 7 mm. 7 mm. So, and then we're going to press check. So now you can look around if you want, but we're going to go back to the top plane. You can see that there's two planes now. It'll be kind of confusing, but if you want to look around, you can. So we're going to go back to the top afterwards. Now we're going to make our circle because we want to draw a smiley face, right? And what's a smiley face without a circle? So what we're going to do is we're going to create a sketch. So we're going to click sketch and we're going to click plane one. So hopefully if you click the top surface and you click this square, it should say plane one at the top. So if you have your sketch open, we're going to go back to the top face. So you can click on the top cube, click top. Nothing might change. Something might change. And so now we're going to draw a circle. So we're going to zoom in because it's kind of hard to see. So let's zoom in. So we zoomed in and now we're going to draw our circle. So how are we going to draw the circle? We want it in the center of the ring, right? So now we need to use a line and just make it so that we can draw our circle. So let's use the line tool. And we're going to click on this black dot again. We're going to click the line tool on the black dot. And then we're going to click. We're going to hover our mouse over the bottom of the ring. So you can see here. Wait, give me a second. Okay, wait, actually first, we're going to click the bottom of the ring. I'm oh, sorry. We're going to click the bottom of the ring right here. So the line should be orange. Once the line is orange, we're going to press U. And what this does is it makes a line for us, which is on top of the ring. So it will be easier for us to use the ring as a guidance to draw the circle. Next. Do, do it again. The line. OK, so uh, for those of you that missed it, we're going to click the bottom of the ring right here. The, the line should be orange. And we're going to press U, which will create a line for us. So for those of you that have the ring, I mean the line, that's great. You good? Okay. Now we're going to create another line. This time, we're going to click this orange dot. We're going to click this orange dot and we're going to click on the bottom of this orange line. There should be a square around your mouse. If there's a square, then you're doing it right. So after there's a square, you're going to click and now you're going to have two lines and then you can press escape. So you're going to have this line, which is straight down from the center. And then you have this line, which is at the bottom of your ring. Okay, so everybody has these two lines, right? So now we're going to create a circle. So on shape is really helpful. Whenever we move our, our mouse around the center or the middle of any sketch, it will allow us to make it exactly at the midpoint so we don't have to be super accurate. So now we're going to create the circle tool. We're going to look use the circle tool. So up top, the circle tool. And we're going to hover our mouse around the middle of the line that's going straight down. You can see that if you make move your mouse to the middle, it will make a square around your mouse. If you see this square, great. If you don't try to move your mouse closer to the middle. Yeah, you have to have your circle tool selected. Okay. So once you have the square, great. Just click on it and you're just going to make a big circle bigger than the ring. I made the circle bigger than the ring, so it's just easy to see the circle. Now we're going to use the dimension tool again. Remember the dimension tool? You're just going to press D or you're going to click the dimension tool. So we're going to click the dimension tool. 
and we're going to click on the blue circle. It's going to turn orange, and then we're going to move our mouse out of the way so that we can set the size. And what the size is going to be is 16 mm. So now your circle would be a little bit smaller than your, uh, yeah. Also, if you did it correctly, are these all of yours to look exactly like this? Yep. So right now you should be looking at this. Okay. So if yours is looking, so let's just wait for everybody to get to get where we are. You have your circle. You're gonna dimension it to 16 mm. Okay, so I'm going to assume that everybody's done. So after this, we use that line. You see this bottom line right here? Wait. Wait, first we're going to press escape. And you see this bottom line right here that we use? It's going to make things a little bit difficult when we extrude it. So we're just going to click on it, and we're going to delete this line. So you're going to click on the bottom line, the bottom of the ring, and we're just going to press delete. So now your circle should turn blue, but the line is gone. Now, make sure you don't press your circle at all, or else it'll move around, and then it'll cause problems. So we don't want that. So make sure you just click the bottom line of the ring, press delete, and then we'll be good. OK, so all of your circle should be blue, and there should be no line there. Next, we're going to use our extrude tool again. We're going to make the cylinder so we can draw our very nice smiley face. So. We're going to press check mark. And we should see the circle still there. It just turns gray. And then we're going to extrude the tool. So remember the extrude tool, we just used it. It's a gray square and the, that's in front of the white square. We're going to click on it and we're going to click on this circle. We're going to hover over the circle, we're going to click on it and it should give us a circle that's a part, a cylinder. So we're going to make this cylinder 2 mm thick. So you see the, uh, the depth? We're going to make that 2 mm. We're going to press Enter. And so if we press check mark after we make it 2 mm, you can look around, use your right click. You can see that we have almost the ring that we were going to make. OK, so now you have your ring, and that's great. Now we're going to draw that smiley face that is basically the whole purpose of the ring. So in order to do that, we're going to click the top surface one more time. The top of the cube, we're going to click top. So you see how all these planes are there? They're kind of annoying, right? So if we press P, we can make them all disappear. So we press P, and all the planes will disappear. Now it looks much cleaner, right? So we can zoom in if it's not zoomed in enough. And now we're going to make our smiley face. So the smiley face is the most complicated part, of course. So we're going to create a sketch. This time, instead of clicking a plane, we're going to click a surface. So we're going to click the top of the ring, right? Because we're going to draw the smiley face on the ring. So we're going to click this circle. And it should give us a sketch of face of extrude 2. So we're going to click the circle, then click the sketch. And we should have a sketch of face of extra two, extrude two. So now we have a really complicated sketch. First, what we're going to do is we're going to draw the eyes. Okay. So the eye should be pretty easy. What we're going to do is you see here the circle tool, we're going to draw two circles like this. Okay. It doesn't really matter where they are because we're going to move them eventually anyway. So just draw two circles for the eyes. Now what we're going to do is we're going to click these two circles, the edge of these two circles. And we want to make them the same size, right? Because our eyes are the same size generally. So we want to press E. And E will, is the equal constraint. It'll just make anything equal. So we're going to make these two circles equal. So now your circle should be the same size if you click both of them and press E. Okay, next. 
We're going to click these two, these two centers of circles. Trust, trust, trust. Okay, so we're gonna, so we have these two, right? Now we're gonna remember the horizontal tool that we learned. The horizontal tool is also the H key. So we're gonna press these two centers of circles and we're gonna press H. And now they should be directly horizontal from each other. No matter where I move these two circles, they're always horizontal to each other. Okay, next, we're going to make these circles appear at eye level, right? Because your eyes are not at your mouth, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to move this circle up at this black dot line. You see this black, you see the black dot, you see how it's orange when I move it up? So when it's orange, we're going to let go of our mouse. And that should make it so that this, this circle, no matter where, how we move it, is always at eye level. Okay, so after we do this, we want to make our eyes symmetrical, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, so our eyes, right, are not in the middle, right? They're on the side. So we want to make it even on the side. So we're going to use a few constraints. So we're going to press L or use the line tool. And we're going to click on one center of the die. And then we're going to click on this center of the eye. And so you're gonna draw a line between the two eyes. Okay, so next, we want the middle of this line to be in the middle with this dot. So in order to do that, we're gonna click this dot. We're gonna click this line. So you should have the dot and the line selected. So remember, your line is supposed to go from one eye to the other eye. So once we have these two selected, there's the midpoint tool right here. If you don't see the midpoint tool, you're going to click the down arrow on the right side of your toolbar, and you're going to hover until you find the midpoint tool. So this is the midpoint tool. It's a line with a dot in the center. Yeah. So after you select the line and the dot, we're going to click the midpoint tool. So the midpoint tool might be in your down arrow toolbar if you can't find it. So you're gonna press the midpoint tool. And now your eyes should be completely centered. And no matter where you move one eye, the other eye moves with it. So now you can change it to whatever you want. It doesn't really matter, it's up to you. Okay, so now you should have your two eyes. We finished the eye, now we need to make the smiley face, right? That's the most important that's the most important part of the smiley face. So in order to do that, we're going to draw two arcs. So what's an arc? An arc is just a part of a circle. So we're going to draw like a half circle. So in order to do that, we're going to find the arc tool, which is right here. It should say three point arc. It's next to the circle tool. Okay, so we're going to click this arc tool, okay? And now we're gonna click two points anywhere, anywhere we want inside the circle. And then for our third point, we're gonna click hover on top. We're actually just gonna make it so that we're just gonna click anywhere actually. You can click anywhere. So you can just make a smiley face, you can make a sad face. It doesn't really matter because at the end it's gonna be a happy face. It's better to not make a sad face because we like people that are happy. Being happy is very important. So we, we want to be happy, right? So after we make our first smiley face, sm smiley face thing, we need to make the top lip, right? But first we want to make it so that this smiley face is at the center of our face, right? You, you, you can, sure, if, if you want, if you want, you can make a surprise face. So after you make this smiley face, you see this dot right, we're gonna press escape first. You see this dot right here? This dot that looks like the nose. We're gonna move this dot and we're gonna move it all the way up to this point. So we're gonna click and drag all the way up to this orange point. And when it's orange, you're gonna let go. Okay? 
So now if you see what that does, that means that the center of the smiley face is always at the, always at the center. Okay. So we're going to do that one more time. So we're going to create our center arc. You see here, three point arc. We're going to create that one more time. So we're going to click three random places inside the circle. So we have this other circle, right? It looks yeah. kind of weird right now. Like our second and third uh, three point arc. So yeah. Okay. So after we do this, we're going to move this point again to the black dot. And if you have a hard time and it's not working, there's an easier way. If you click this dot right here and click this dot, so click these two dots because they need to be on top of each other. There's an I constraint, which you just press I and these two dots will be on top of each other. So if you have a hard time dragging, you can just press the two points and press I. So you're gonna press the center of the three point arc and then you're gonna press the black dot and you press I. So now we have our two curves and we have our eyes. Now we need to make these smiley face look a little bit better, right? So we're gonna use some lines to help us. Okay, so we're gonna draw a line from this black dot that we've used a lot today. And then we're gonna connect it to this bigger smiley face arc. So we're gonna have a line like this. It's gonna look a little weird, but that's okay. All right, now we're going to use another line from the black dot to the other side of the arc. So now we're kind of making like a pizza slice. It's gonna look like a pizza slice. So we're gonna draw two lines from the center of the dot from the black dot to each edge. So it's gonna look like a pizza slice. And now we're gonna use the constraint tool again. So press escape everybody. Click on this dot right here, the left arc. So you see this, see the orange dot that I selected? Okay, so we're gonna click on the arc and we're gonna click on this line. So we're gonna have these two things selected. And then we're going to press I. So make sure we only have one line selected, okay? Only the left line and only the left dot. And then we're going to press I. And what that does is now the dot is on the line, which is great. And now we're going to do on the right side or the other side. So we're going to click this, click this point, click this line, and we're going to press I. So now both dots should be on both lines. And now we have a really weird looking pie, smiley face thing. So we want to make it look better, right? The mouth is a little bit too big and it's not really centered. So we're going to fix that. So to make the mouth smaller, we're going to dimension this arc to this arc. So the way you do that again is we're going to click these two, these two circles or half like quarter circles and we're going to press dimension. So we're going to click these two after pressing dimension. We're going to make this one mm. Okay, so now we have almost a smiley face. Five minutes, okay, bit. okay, so the final step, the final two steps. Okay, so we want to change how close the mouth is to your eyes. So if your mouth is really close to your eyes, you can move it very close, right? You could click on this, it can move it very, very close and have a very small smile, or you can make it so that it's a very big smile. You can choose, it's okay. You can choose anything you want. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, there's three more steps, sorry. Okay, so. Once you're done with your smiley face, we want to dimension it, okay? So we're gonna press the dimension key and we want to make it the center, right? So we're gonna click this sideline. We're gonna click this, what the? 
We're going to click the sideline right here, and then we're going to click this, and it'll give us an angle. So we're going to click these two lines, press dimension. So you need press dimension and then click the lines. Yeah. Okay, great. Okay, so guys, we're going to click those two lines and we're going to set it to 45 degrees. So 45. Press 45, we're going to press enter. Okay. And now for the final step before we make our smiley face into our ring is we're going to set these two lines to 90 degrees. So let's click the dimension tool and click these two tool, these two lines, these two right here. And this should give you an arc like this. And we're gonna click and we're gonna set it to 90 degrees. It's tight. Okay. So it should be 90 degrees. Does anybody need help? This is our final step before we finish our ring. Okay, so does everybody have 90 degrees? We're good now. We have a smiley face and it's in the center of our face. And it's the same, it's the exact distance we want. We could change any distance, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now we have our smiley face. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna press check mark. Make sure you don't press X or we have to do it all over again. It's going to be really sad. And now we're going to extrude again. But this time we're going to use a different type of extrude. We're going to use the remove. So let's press the extrude button right here. And we're going to click. And we're going to click on remove. You can see right here, remove at the top. It's the third option. Click remove. And we're going to remove the eyes and the smiley face. Ah, okay. Okay. So make sure if you can't find remove, you can click solid right here at the top. Click solid. And then you can find remove. We're going to click on this eye. We're going to click on this other eye. And we're going to click on the smiley face that you made. So you see how that makes a smiley face? Now we need to change the depth. And the depth is going to be 1 mm. So we're going to change the depth to be 1 mm. And then we're going to press check. After, you can look around and see you have made your smiley face ring. That's really cool. You can change the size. If you want to change your smiley face, you can click on sketch two, and you can change the size of your eye, you can change how close the mouth is to the, to the eye, you can change a lot of things. If you have finished this, you have finished the ring. Congratulations. 